Hi, my name is Jed Harris. I'm with PureTech Industrial Water. Behind me is a 53-foot PureTech Mobile Demon trailer. The purpose of this trailer is to treat makeup water for critical high flow water applications. Inside the trailer there's 14 palletized tanks which total 630 cubic feet of ion exchange resin. These tanks can be configured in numerous ways to meet different flow requirements uh, and or quality requirements that the customer requires. So with that said, I'll show you some basic operation parameters and things to watch out for as an end user. Okay, now I'm standing in front of the trailer. Right here you have your service connections. So this is the service inlet. This is where the makeup water will enter the trailer. Once it enters the trailer, it can either run on one bank only or it can run on uh, both banks at the same time. We'll talk about that more in a little bit. You have your service inlet. Water comes in here and then water comes out here. Demineralized water will come out of the service, in the, uh, service outlet here. So um, some important things to cover. There's two and a half inch fire hose connections here. You'll notice there's two for the inlet and two for the outlet. The reason being is for flow considerations. If you're running less than 150 GPM, you, you're good with using one uh, fire with one hose. If your flow is greater than 150 gallons per minute, then you can use two hoses. Same with the outlet. Um, you have your uh, pressure relief valve, very important. Uh, we'll cover this uh, in, in a short bit here when we start talking about the controls. You have uh, a rinse outlet valve that's set up here for draining water out of the tanks or for rinsing um, uh, off-spec water up to quality. Numerous uses for that. Just to familiarize yourself with, with uh, what these valves are for. So, uh, with that said, a um, couple other things to point out. Um, you have your uh, green quality tag that's located here. Um, just, just to, just, uh, it's one more confirmation beyond what's already uh, done to ensure that you have uh, you know, a, a leak test, hydro test, um, quality check and that everything's good to go. Uh, you have your control power and your utility power here. Very, very important when you're operating the trailer that, um, that there, there's control power applied to the trailer. Without this, you, without this, the trailer is designed to shut down the service inlet. So when this trailer is un under operation, it's very, very important that it has power applied to the trailer. Now uh, we'll move to the other side, I'll show you the controls. Okay, on the driver's side of the trailer you have a control panel and uh, fr first rule of thumb it's good to keep this closed when not in service to protect the control panel from the elements. Uh, something very important. Uh, there's, there's a few things here I'll cover um, in, in a little more detail. The most important thing is you have your quality and your flow instrumentation here. And again, I'll go over this in, in detail very shortly. Uh, you also have bank selection, meaning you can run one bank of tanks at a time or both at the same time. This is depending on the customer's flow. If uh, uh, 150 gallons per minute or less, you'd want to run one bank at a time. Greater than 150 gallons per minute, you'd want to run both banks at the same time. Um, you have an interior lights off and on and then a quality bypass. Again, I'll talk about that shortly. So I'll bring in the camera a little bit closer so we can take a, a better look at this to understand the instrumentation. First you have the M300 conductivity meter. It measures the inlet uh, feed conductivity on channel A and it measures the outlet, the product conductivity on channel B. Now it's important not to confuse channel A and channel B with bank A and bank B within the trailer. Uh, there's a selector switch here for bank A or bank B or again, as we discussed, you can run uh, both bank A and B at the same time. This is to refer to the location of the tanks. This is simply, uh, as channel A is to refer to the uh, quality of the water coming in the, the trailer and the water quality coming out would be on channel B. So you have this to measure your, your quality. Uh, next you have the, uh, the Signet flow meter. Um, this, it, it's, it's, uh, it, it not only displays how many gallons are flowing to the trailer, but it has a, a totalizer. So you can toggle these buttons here to get a permanent reading 
and um, you know, so, so you can add and subtract, find out how many uh, gallons you used, and here's your what flow is going through the trailer. Um, it's in, it's important to know that if the flow entering the trailer is less than 50 gallons per minute, then the flow reading may not be accurate. Uh, this is because the paddle wheel used for the flow sensor is designed for flows above 50 gallons a minute, uh, which, which you would typically find in a mobile trailer application. So if it is critical that you have a gallon inch throughput and you are running a low flow application less than 50 gallons per minute, then it would be very wise to have another flow meter uh, downstream to ensure accurate data collection. Now. Uh, Many people are going to ask, why is there this, this faceplate that's across the instrument? The reason it's there is because uh, there are constants that are plugged in each channel, A and B, and this is calibrated for that sensor only. So unauthorized, unauth unauthorized in entry into the menu uh, could change the constants and result in false readings. So that's the purpose of this. Now, uh, something very important, the M300 connectivity meter. Um, when the when channel B, when the reading is one microsiemen or greater, then after 10 minutes, uh, the inlet valve will shut. And the reason for this is to prevent off-spec water from uh, entering uh, the customer's storage tank or, or for their for their use. So the inlet valve will shut, and the pressure relief valve that was shown in front uh, will open. So. This, this can be configured for each customer based on what their, their endpoint quality is. The standard uh, for most customers is one microsiemen as, as, as a cutoff. So if the water goes above one microsiemen, then the water is no longer acceptable for their use. And on this trailer, the inlet valve will shut, the uh, pressure relief valve will open, and uh, water will exit the pressure relief valve on, either onto the ground or if it's attached to a hose to a uh, specific storage tank or site for that off-spec water. Uh, this button here is a quality bypass. So if this uh, alarm situation were to happen, you can press this quality bypass button and now you're allotted 10 minutes, uh, a 10 minute delay before again the inlet valve will shut and the pressure relief valve will, be act will, will open. So uh, very important to keep in mind. Uh, again, we covered interior, uh, interior light switch here, on and off, and your bank selection switch. Um, so with all that said, um, quality, flow, and your bank selection switch, interior lights, quality bypass, very important to know, uh, very important to uh, keep this panel closed when not in use to protect the instruments from the elements. And that's it. So, to sum it up, a PureTech mobile demon trailer is a very dependable source of high purity water. There's two very important things to remember. Uh, there's, there's two situations in which water will no longer flow through this trailer. And that is a uh, loss of power. So, it's very, very important to have control power established for this trailer uh, throughout its operation. Uh, and number two, if the, the product water quality should go above one microsiemen, then the inlet valve will shut, and again, water will exit the uh, pressure relief valve. You do have a delay, 10-minute uh, delay button, and um, that's important to keep in mind. So if there's any questions, um, you can contact us uh, at 800-906-6060. You can also visit our website for a lot of information uh, www.puretechwater.com. Thank you for your time and please call us if you have any questions. Thank you.